Father, what were you and Teresa talking about? So fancy. He's the only one of us who wasn't disinherited. <laughs> she was Alistair's favorite. And if I expose your duplicity, I tell you, isn't the truth, then she will uh, be the sole crane heir. Exactly. But if I accept your deal and I keep my mouth shut, she will lose everything. I'll be... I'll be stealing from fancy my own daughter. Um, what do I have to do with crane money and power when it comes to you? Well, my dearest, fancy the answer is sure to surprise you. Yeah, the way you two are acting surprises me. When I left, you were at each other's throats, now you're actually being civil to one another. What happened while I was gone? Fancy and I managed to work out most of our differences when you went to see Fancy. Yes, indeed, and... Uh... As for our talking about you, we were discussing your future here with the company. That's right. Yes, I mean, now that you've given up law enforcement, we were hoping you might return to Crane. I actually kept your office waiting, hoping that you would come back. So. <laughs> oh, well, I couldn't start until Luis is out of danger. Mm. We wouldn't expect you to. Okay, then. I accept. Oh. <laughs> Great. We have a deal. Indeed. Good. <laughs> you have a deal. That's nice. Um, you know, before I left, there was something that you were going to tell me. I uh, figured it had to do with little Ethan. Oh, that. Oh, yes. Um, it did have <clears throat> something to do with little Ethan. Uh, Julian was shocked to learn that I had offered him more power here at Crane if he agreed to drop his custody suit over little Ethan. Yes, you see, I was rather offended that she would possibly use a child as a bargaining chip, but after discussing it more, I realized it was a reasonable change for everyone involved. <laughs> so after a year or so of bickering over little Ethan in business, the two of you just came to terms just like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the Cold War is over. It is. <laughs> As is our fight. <laughs> yes, the our agreement actually benefits us both. Um, and uh, most of all, it spares little Ethan any upset. <laughs> it makes sense to me. It does make sense. In theory, but what about in practice? Okay, do we have time to get into this now with everything else going on? What's going on? Fancy, we, we will get to it. We will, we will. But I want to know what's going on here, because before I left, you had something you were going to tell me, some big secret. And all of a sudden you make a deal with Julian. I can't help but think that these two things are connected, Teresa. I fear you've been a lawyer too long, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Julian, you only joke when you're hiding something. Oh, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Julian, you were going to tell me something before I left. I'd like to know what it was, and I want to know what you two are hiding. Well, Julian, what was it that you had to tell me? Okay, can you please not do this now? There isn't time. If Julian wants to be honest, it should only take a second. Julian? Well, I, 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 you know, I was admittedly irate when I first learned of Teresa's offer. Uh, that was uh, before Julian barged in on us talking, Ethan. Exactly. You see, I thought she should have made the offer in person, not sent some email. And so my comments to you and the tone in which I made them were simply posturing. Right, and um, actually, after you left, Ethan, Julian was much more reasonable. Yes, as was Teresa. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Can we please focus on Luis now? Luis? What, what, what's Teresa, going on? Um, uh, Luis's execution date was moved up. T to when? As soon as possible. Uh, what? That's, that's <laughs> why Fancy called me, because she wanted me to try to delay it. Well, have you, Ethan? Um, I'm doing everything I can, Teresa, but as of right now, Judge Riley's order, it still stands. He all but admitted the blackmailer forced his hand again. Oh, God, no. I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. Ethan, he can't die. Luis can't die. You 
can't let Louise die. I'm doing, I'm doing everything I can to overturn Riley's order. I even contacted federal authorities, all right? They're going to intervene on the basis that Louise's civil rights are being violated, okay? Well, something has to stop Louise's execution. I can't lose him. I could make a few calls and ask our senators to lobby on his behalf. That'd be, that'd be great. Uh, Father, thank you. No, please, no. I lost my love with Eve. I don't want to see you lose your love with Louise. I feel like I've walked through the looking glass. Julian and Teresa aren't only friends, now he's promising to help Louise. What's next? Mr. Crane, you're here awfully late. Uh, indeed I am. Teresa and I s struck a deal. I've agreed not to seek custody of little Ethan in return. She's going to give me more power here at the company. Well, congratulations. Well, what are you doing here so late? Oh, I had to come back to wrap up a few loose ends. I must say, you've always been such a conscientious employee. <laughs> well, if it weren't for the cranes, I wouldn't be what I am today. This is one way I can pay you guys back. Oh, yes. Yeah. That is one way. Are you flirting with me, Mr. Crane? Would there be a problem if I was? Well, last time we... I deeply regret using you to hurt Eve, but she and I are no longer a couple, and I understand you and Vincent are also no longer a couple. No, we're not. So, perhaps you and I could pick up while we left off. Maybe. Now that I'm here, working stiff again, <laughs> I'll be in my office checking the overseas markets. You're free to drop in. I will keep that in mind. Excellent. Well, would you make a reservation at the Blue Note um, table for two, say, in an hour? Of course. Fine. I'll see you there. If I'm done with my work. Uh, no pressure. If not tonight, another time. If not tonight, another time. <laughs>